Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today is a special kind of video that you may have already seen on Van Bayon, but it's special to me because it takes place in the city of Pittsburgh. And what we have here is a couple of sovereign citizen Moors who live in a tribal family who post up and squat in a house that's for sale. I must say it's a nice house house we're gonna watch this video I'm gonna do some analysis afterwards it's a long video I put the whole thing up because I know people like to see the whole video um, the first five or so minutes is the most interesting but there are good tidbits throughout um, you know I, I hope you stick around watch my analysis afterwards this is the Common Sense Academy I'm Joe Palmetto Joe the lawyer here on this channel we take a look at sovereign citizens First Amendment auditors and people behaving badly if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share really looking to get subscriptions I'd like to get to 10,000 so if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe again this is gonna be a special video for me this is the Pittsburgh police in the city of Pittsburgh uh, and the the sovereign citizen Moors are claiming indigenous rights if you uh, oh I already went through that part so um, just one more thing oh 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 wait oh wait oh wait I forgot the same time zip hang on hang on we gotta do the same time zip raise your cup your glass in the air it tastes better when we sip together that was probably loud because i'm up at a microphone cheers this is my coffee from a few little bit ago now enjoy this 20 minute video or just go right to my commentary if you've already seen it shalom shalom family how you doing again as you know akai aiza always on the move uh we're in a new space we're in a new spot and uh, we're taking advantage of our rights and what we know who we are as people. Um, if you guys haven't seen my last post uh, on our Instagram and then also our post on our website, I got some more stuff on our website, which is my-ob.com. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that we are here um, in our new home. And so in our new home, we got, you know, some nice little amenities and stuff like that. A nice little big house. You know, that's how we doing as indigenous people. You know, that's how we should be doing it, right? So you come to the backside, we just moved in. So, you know, we just... Got to get a little stuff together. You know, got a cool little backyard. You know what I mean? I know y'all can't see it, but it's a nice little backyard backside. And so, uh, let's go out to the garage. Little three-bedroom house, you feel me? Up over on, uh, what's the street? It's, uh, one, 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 one. yeah, one, one, eight, one, season drive, Antioch, California, nine, four, six, five, six. I want y'all come visit me immediately. Um, yeah, so this is our, one of our rooms, bedrooms. Another room right here, the kids' room in there, you know what I'm saying? The bathroom, you know what I'm saying? The bathroom's pretty fly, you know what I'm saying? We're working on it, you feel me? The bathroom, we're working on it, you know what I mean? We've been there, you know, getting it in. In the other rooms, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, other than that, we're pretty much just big chilling in the brand new house. Well, it ain't brand new, but it's new to us. Oh, look at that. Cheyenne. There she is. Ooh. Ooh. Is that an oil change going down? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So there we are in our lovely home. Looking beautiful. It's clean. It's neat. Nice little house. Yeah, I'm just you know, changing the oil on it right now. She's, uh, she's acting real funny. But anyway, so for the most part, family, we in here. Um, get at me, follow me, uh, add me, do what you got to do. You feel me? Because uh, Big Chief High Highs are making moves. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I ain't got time for the bullshit. I'll be real with you. Uh, y'all better learn the indigenous rights. Because if y'all don't know y'all rights, then you're going to let these colonizers just keep stepping all over you. And I'm going to be real with you. We deal with colonizers all the time. You know what I mean? We call them uh, pale faces and shit. You know, anybody that's not us. So I just want to let y'all know uh, we made it to a new house and uh, we're safe from our old house, from the violence and the attacks and all the bullshit that was happening over there. We had a new place starting fresh and brand new. Shalom family. I'll see y'all later. Holla at me. Call me Two hours later. Um, that is E. Oh, that's Y. Oh, that's Y. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do not touch, touch me. Do not I'm standing up. right here on this sidewalk next to you, sir. So don't don't need to start. Y'all wrong for this. Y'all hella wrong. No, y'all need paperwork. Y'all need paperwork. Where's my paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? For what you're doing? Where's the paperwork? Yes, you do. You do need paperwork to arrest somebody. Yeah, you do. You do. You do need your paperwork. Where's your paperwork? What's the charges? What's the charges? What's the charges? Answer the fucking question. Give me my, give me my keys. Give me my keys. Hey, she need her keys. Give me my keys to my car. That's my keys to my car for my child. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, those are the car keys right here. Nobody never said we lived here though. Don't say that to him. Go, go to our car. Okay. I just need to be able to get a view. Yesterday, okay. when the property owners came to the right. house to try to have you guys leave, that's why we're back here. We were not told to leave. Okay. Yesterday, uh, my understanding, I wasn't here, okay, but my understanding there was some type of conversation. We were not told to leave, sir. Okay. Long story yeah. short, you guys cannot be here, all right? And I respect where you're you You cannot from. be here. You cannot be here. You cannot be here. You are not from here. You are possibly European, maybe Portuguese, right. maybe I don't even know what you is, but you're not from here. I'm going to tell you here in the city of Pittsburgh, which is where we here work, in Indian land, land, Indian country, Khalifa Islands. It's where we work. And you, no, have certain, I, you have certain uh, protocols and laws that you abide by. Federal law, which is Trump's all of this law. Federal law. We also have federal jurisdiction. You are not Congress. I'm making sure your camera hear me and all this motherfuckers that's paying attention. Uh huh. Yep. So I want to make sure you hear me clearly. Perfect. Long story short, you guys can be. The house is for sale. It's not your guys' house. I understand where you're coming from with Indian laws and stuff like that. Uh -huh. we, we have our quick claim deed. Long story short, what's going to happen here today is you guys are going to have to leave here. Uh, the reason I don't want you going in the car now is simply, simply for officer safety. You have okay. to release him or we're not going nowhere. Okay. I understand officer safety and, and we don't 
go in the car, but will you give us our keys back? Well, I will give you your keys momentarily, yeah. but the okay. car may end up coming with us. What would it come with it's you for? It's expired registration over six months, so it's We had this conversation yesterday. You're lying. I'm not lying. Yes, you are, because this is a tribal yesterday. jurisdiction. That's your problem. Y'all okay. need to talk so, to the people that was here yesterday. Then. I did. I have. That's no, why you I'm didn't. Yes, no, you did. didn't. That's why you sent your little fucking drone, huh? So then my hmm? other my other question for you is how much belongings do you guys have in the house? Like how long? We we have a whole house in there. The whole house is in there. Oh. That's why we're... We, when did you guys get here? Uh, about, about a week ago. Or maybe two weeks. Uh, and then, um, did you guys have like a contact for who rented the home to you or anything like that? We have a contact as far as signs up there or whatever, but... No, um, as far as like uh, how did you guys get the keys to the house? That type of thing. The oh. HUD. It's the, uh, through HUD. So we spoke with them and they let us know that the the HUD foreclosure homes are the ones that are available for everybody. People that are indigenous, people that are tribal, people that are a part of other indigenous nations. Um that that's that's what they're for. So yes. And then just so is this your husband here or the chief. The chief and then your daughter? Yes. And then you are a friend uh, no, I'm trying to understand the dynamic. I'm tribal. We're well. tribal. We're a tribal family. The four of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anybody else in the house? No, it's our furniture is in the house. But no other people are? N no. Why? Are you trying to figure out how many people to take to jail? No, I I have no desire to take you. Well, clearly you already have him in handcuffs, so, well, so I'm trying to figure so reason, out. Y'all got more cars coming. Well, no, I'm, I'm getting right, that. So the reason stuff. that he's in handcuffs is for last night. No for sense. the kind of the for argument that happened down. through the door. I'm and so I, and confused. I, was, I know, me too. So you can arrest somebody for argument? Well, you can arrest for somebody for delaying or obstructing. Are you kidding me? No. For delaying and obstructing. Yeah. You guys okay. are delaying. You're still on land that you're not supposed to be on. You, you guys did, are you all colonizers. You didn't specifically colonizer. say what you wanted from us. So to yeah, say we that told, we obstructed don't, don't or leave. delayed. So so you can't trespass on this property. But okay, we were, we were not told to leave. Let me just talk for a second. Listen. You cannot trespass on this property. Therefore, you can't be there. There's a couple routes that we can go today. He can go to jail, okay? This car, let me just finish. Hear me out. I'm not saying this is the route I want to take. I don't. We can take other people to jail. We can tow this car. But if you cannot be here, we've established that. That's not going to change. And you have stuff to get out. You're going to need this car to transport stuff. Right, and that's okay? what we're trying to figure Please out. Please do not put me in a situation to where more people have to go to jail, that I have to tow this car and do things that I don't want to do. None of these guys want to do it here, but we do have a job we have to do. Tom and that means that, that property has to come out of here and you guys can't stay here. That's it. That's okay, it. And it's not that personal for me to, to you. I've night, never though. met you before. We're yeah. having a uh, I know, but that's uh, why we're here today. Mutual agreement right yeah. now. And that's a shame that they night. don't tell and you we guys had that conversation. what happened last night. because y'all. They did tell us. Guns. They did yeah. tell us. <laughs> they told us a different story than what oh, you're telling okay. us. Exactly. And we okay. and, and our thing is that we, we gave all the laws. We gave our paperwork. We gave all the indigenous right. packages. And everything. And all the I federal. I understand your point of view. Clearly, you guys do not follow the Constitution. Listen, listen. I understand. And that's what I see. You don't follow the Constitution that you you stand your independence on. I'm not going to have an argument about the Constitution. But what you are, because you right now you're arresting someone. The laws that's, in which that's, you believe. Hold on, let me finish. The laws in which you believe. There's no belief. Okay. There's no belief. And you follow this are law. different from the ones that we enforce. No. I can no. understand that. Because you're not a law enforcer. You're a policy okay. keeper. All right. And then we can call them different titles. I've been down this road many a times mm -hmm. with many different people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a different group I know group the end result here. What I do not no, want. No, there's not an end result here. Is that end result for you to be something that doesn't need to be negative. Okay, help me help you out. This here. is negative right here because y'all supposed to be deported. Y'all not supposed to be this, here okay? on American soil. Y'all supposed to be at Europe I'm not or wherever y'all was from. A, a baseline debate on. Mm -hmm. But the treaties are already here. Yeah, the hey, treaties are already here. Quick, what's your, what can I call you or what's your first name? Or? I don't want you to call me nothing. I want you to call okay? me right, is there uh, release. Is there, okay, is there anybody else inside the house? We already told you no. Okay. We're just gonna make sure for our safety that there is. Okay, we don't give a shit. We already standing all outside. Got your gun on the hand on your holster and whatnot, but I can't get in my car. Can't go the house, make yourself known. Can't the car, anybody in the house. So you're trying, so you're trying to say that you're just gonna arrest him, and you have no real charges. He is arrested. What's the charge? I'm going to arrest him. He's arrested well, for 602 and 148. Huh? Trespassing and resisting. Wait a minute, we're not even in the building. It didn't matter. This is from last night. This is from last night. So you mean to tell me that they told us don't leave last night and that they was going to come back in the morning. We actually waited here all morning for you guys. 
As soon as we like, okay, well, let's just go back and get our car. We was actually coming back so we could just get our stuff mm -hmm. because we already know what y'all gonna do. Mm -hmm. So we was like, okay, let's just be up, up on game. But if y'all gonna come like this, this ain't even right. Yeah. It's like y'all, if y'all gonna allow us, us, yeah, if y'all gonna allow us to remove ourselves, we don't have a problem with doing that. But we're in a situation where y'all telling us that they told us to leave last night, but that's not true. They didn't because we stayed in here. We actually stayed up waiting to the sheriff and more yeah, officers came. Did you come out so, and talk to the officers last night? No, we didn't because we know they all do this. This is what y'all do. So you didn't talk to them. This is your MO. We already we talked to them, but we talked to them safely. But you didn't come outside. We no, we get we sent all our information right underneath <laughs> the um garage door. So you okay. can see everything. Sent them. And he, he got it, he got, got his ID and stuff like that. Yes, and they told our car because they were trying to get us to come outside and we're not stupid. Did they ask you to come outside? Yes. Did they tell you you can't be here? No. They never said you can't they be said, here. They said they said that they said we're trespassing. But he did not say you have to leave. Yeah. Does that when make they sense? Tell you that you're trespassing? So, so we let him know. No, you're trespassing because you're European did or whoever you Spain or wherever you came from. Uh -huh. It's not here. Okay, so they told you you were trespassing. Uh huh. And then they asked you to come outside, but you refused to come outside. No, they said we don't have to come outside, and they were leaving. They didn't. Ask that was you the to last statement they said to us. And they was taking the car. That was the last statement. All right. They so said we didn't have to come out. At any point in time, because everything we do is recorded, mm -hmm. just like you guys report us. Yep. Yep. You're telling me that after they told you they were trespassing, they didn't tell you to come outside? Or... No, they they tried to say open the door. But we was like, we're not opening the door because we gave you all our paperwork already. So they told you to so open soon the as, door? So as soon as they read all the paperwork we gave them, because they didn't want to read the clipboard we gave them, okay. once they actually read it, then they were like, okay, well, we're leaving. The sergeant said leave. So And then and then somebody stood right here and said, oh, well, let's just bust the window. Even though your sergeant on recording said that he was leaving. He can't hear you through it. But... Oh, they can hear me. Um, so they told you you were trespassing and they asked you to open the door and you refused to open the door. We were, we were fearing for our safety. They were banging because, on the door. I mean, you come up right now, you see this little girl running to the door and you guys come with guns, so. And I'm not about to put well, we my child in. Anytime we leave the station, that's just part of our no, uniform. No, no, everything. I mean, not having a gun on you, guns were drawn. Yeah, pulling so them it's out like, like this. We that's also had a machete a strapped different. to his back. That's but it was not drawn. It was I not mean, drawn. Well, we don't normally give him an opportunity to draw the machete. It was not drawn. He didn't. Pu he didn't pull it out and was like, "No, officer, come on now, come on." That's not what happened here. So whatever, whatever conversation was. House is clear and some furniture. You guys move it like the tables and stuff. Yeah. It was completely empty when you guys were here. How did you guys get all that stuff here? It wasn't just in this car, was it? Uh, why are you guys asking me all these questions? If y'all go release it. Um. Uh, we'll need some, I mean, we, we was going to need some time. That's why we, we was expecting an actual conversation where somebody was going to be like, okay, well, y'all have this time limit. But y'all just showed up like, boom, 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 boom. Like, dang. Like, for real? Is there a time limit or not? Yeah. Because uh, y'all violate hella rights. The constitutional rights, the indigenous people law rights, the DRIPS law packet, federal. Like, do y'all not follow nobody rules? Are you on? Are you sovereign? Not, not a whole lot. Are you sovereign? But um, enough. Enough with the uh, enough big stuff. Are y'all gonna help? Is you gonna grab some stuff? You got your little vehicle right here. You gonna help grab some stuff? It's not I mean, y'all want everything done the way y'all want it to be done, but y'all not thinking about nobody else. Nobody else's, right? It's only what the police want, right? Right? Yeah, I know y'all crooked cops. Y'all probably crooked now. Probably doing some some under under conniving stuff right now, and that's why you like I got orders. Yeah, you really got some money in your pocket. I'm not dumb. You got cotton. Y'all out here picking cotton for them. Hope y'all know y'all slave. Hope y'all feel good tonight when y'all go home and remind yourself how much of a slave you are because you're picking cotton right now. Seventy five percent cotton, twenty five percent linen. Up, uh, that's your money. That's your fifty dollars an hour y'all getting for this. Hope that paycheck nice. Because when you get deported, you won't need it. American dollar is dropping. Every second you stand here. Because you know you're supposed to go home. Go ask Pope Francis. Pope Francis, to the letter to Obama stated that all entities are void. They must leave America. Indigenous drip law packet. 
must leave America and give the lands back to the Aboriginal, Indigenous, Indians, Moorish Americans that are here on this land. That was here when so-called Christopher Columbus found uh, Plymouth Rock because he didn't find America. He didn't even make it all the way over here. But y'all get over here and act like it's y'all's now, huh? You build a police station, you feel like you own the whole Pittsburgh? Is this your guys' too? Yes, tow it. Yeah, tow everything. With all the to us, this is the tribal land. But you don't understand. Tow yourself too. So is he in the car or y'all just took him? I think he took him, yeah. What police department? Over down the street. Which is? Pittsburgh Oh, you mean on Indian land? You know, fucking Pittsburgh. Okay, so can can I put my child in the car so she can feel safe? Oh, you mean an actual person? Because the bank is a corporation, they cannot own nothing. Yeah, it's the person they cannot own anything. There ain't no such thing as a representative. You can't represent this. I come here in flesh. You can't represent this. So if you're a corporation, you don't own nothing here. You can't. Especially not on this side of the Mississippi. Yeah. Andrew Jackson said that Indian Removal Act. Right. Uh huh. Right. So anyway, we're gonna they're gonna come out and we're gonna try to figure out the best way to get. So the law just stuff. went right over your head, huh? Uh huh. Right. Yeah, uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what the fuck do y'all do here? Y'all don't follow the law. Be real with yourself. Wake up at night. You don't follow the law. You don't. You want everybody to believe that somebody else is the criminal, but we know that the police is the criminal. They shooting people left and right. We don't trust you. Don't trust you not one bit. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're waiting for. So no, we're not getting in the cars or anything like that. Getting paid to twiddle y'all thumbs. Pushing paperwork. So who giving up their badge number? Yeah, I need all the badge numbers. Y'all can call them out if y'all want to, or I could just mess up your name and say it. What? I said I could just mess up your name and say it, or you could call your numbers out if you like. My name is Detective Baker. Okay. Detective Baker, and you? I don't know. Thank you, Salamanca. And your, your badge number? So this video starts out with our sovereign citizen, more indigenous, aboriginal uh, man walking around this house, introducing us to his new house, a house that he and his tribal family have been in for about a week. It appears that it's him, two adult women, Two wives, I don't know. I don't know the rules in the indigenous tribal families, um, and a child. And they are squatting in a house that is listed for sale. Uh, and that, that at least, you know, at the beginning, we see him walking around the house. Then we fast forward to about two hours later where the police have arrived and they are being taken into custody. Um, these are the Pittsburgh police. I am from... Pittsburgh. I live right outside the city, but the majority of my legal practice, uh, as you know, I'm an attorney, Joe Palmetto, Joe the lawyer, uh, is in Pittsburgh. Uh, I could not tell which neighborhood this is. However, it's it's a newer, it looks like a newer house in in a pretty nice neighborhood. But again, I, I really can't say just from the visual that we saw, probably the east side of the city. If you're familiar with Pittsburgh, that's where most of the population is. Uh, there's some new developments over there. That's just my guess. I don't know. Um, he, he's introducing us at the beginning. Uh, and, and can you just imagine as a, as, as a police officer, okay, they, they get training on this nowadays, but 
imagine, if you will, having to go to a house to arrest um, a black man in an Indian headdress. And I, I got to give him props because his whole, his uniform was actually pretty cool. Like if he wore that on Halloween, I'd be like, dude, that is neat. That is awesome. Like I like his whole get up. Uh, if you see later in the video, they said he had a machete. I mean, it's like a mix between, um, Rambo and, uh, what's, what's a good, uh, a famous, I don't know, dances with wolves and Rambo and crocodile Dundee and Geronimo all in one. Like he's, you know, with this headdress and a machete, like, dude, you got, I mean, I, I just, I can't get it through my head that people live in this fantasy world. Um, he talks about like it's their new home. The hat is then great. He, he puts the address on YouTube. Um, he says they're making moves. Moving into other people's houses is not making moves. It's trespassing. Um, he calls them colonizers and hell facers, and they reference Europeans throughout. I thought it was funny when she can't. I guess one of the police officers is doesn't appear to be European and she can't figure out what he is. So maybe your argument doesn't work against him, right? I mean, is he a colonizer or not? I mean, the whole the whole thing is insane. Um, she's saying we're the natives. OK, look, the, I mean, African-American people are not natives to North America or South America or the United States. They're just not. I'm sorry. Um, you know, there's a whole deep, sad, sick, tragic history behind the United States. I get that. Um, but you're not native, all right? N neither are, neither am I, neither are a lot of people, okay? There are Native Americans, indigenous peoples, and they do have certain indigenous rights, but you, you don't have them. I, I don't have them either, okay? Um, they call the colonizers hell facers. Uh, let's see. The property property owners apparently came to the house. Um, yeah, they're probably like, okay, can you leave somehow? They said, you can't be here. Um, you're not from here. Uh, I'm sorry. The Moors said that to the police. Again, this is in my city, so it just makes it that much more uh, fascinating and more real. I've encountered sovereign citizens in my legal practice here in Pittsburgh. No Moorish sovereign citizens, though. When I encounter, I haven't seen them for a long time in the courts. I'm not saying they don't go through. So many people go through. I don't, obviously don't see everybody in the courts, okay? Um, but I've never seen a Moorish sovereign citizen in court up close and personal. Um, all right. So the interesting thing, the tact here, the officer still gets smart. I, under, I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. They don't try to debate them on the facts of the indigenous. I will debate you on the facts of being indigenous. OK, you're not indigenous. Um, there are Native Americans that are indigenous. That's it's not you. Um, and they, they said, I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. That, I mean, that's the right tact to take because you can't, you know, it, it's difficult. The police, it's better not to engage them in that because you're going to get dragged into some nonsense into an argument that you can't win and it only makes you look weaker. So you might as well maintain a strong position by choosing not to engage with the nonsense. At least I, that's my sense of what they're doing. I don't know everything that the police are taught. Um, they have a whole house full of belongings in there. So they got a whole house in there in about a week, which I can see. I mean, when I saw this guy squatting at the beginning and then I saw the coffee table and all the items, they got a car in there. I mean, what are you doing? Do you really think you can get away with this? I mean, an abandoned house, you actually have a chance and you can get away with it longer. I mean, a nice house like that, you have no chance. You have no chance. These people are going to have to spend money to clean it, maybe repair it. Um, boy, what a nightmare. Um, she says, he asks, the officers ask if they rented the home, and she says she got the keys through HUD. Foreclosure says it's available for indigenous people. So uh, FYI, just for your information, I'm a landlord. I have several properties, okay? Uh, HUD does not. I, I, HUD, if HUD has program for indigenous people, maybe that it wasn't involved there. It was not involved there. HUD does have all these weird programs. You know, if you buy certain homes in rural areas, you, they'll practically be given to you. Okay. Or you can get massive discounts or the government will give you a check to buy that house. Um, 
again, she called, she, oh, when the officer asked if this was the husband and she says, no, that's the chief. <laughs> I mean, how do you, how do you, how do you get that deal? How do you get that? I'm not saying I want that deal. I mean, I, I feel like this is polygamy and there's two wives going on here. Again, I, I'm not sure that's something I would want, right? Don't you guys agree? I mean, usually one, one wife is more than enough for most people. I imagine one husband is more than enough for most women as well. Um, they had paperwork. She said, I have paperwork. I'm going to give you paperwork. Da, 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 da. And the officers just over and over again. I understand your point of view. I understand your point of view. We see an arrest in here. Um, one of the legal concepts, and I actually just addressed this in the book, is adverse possession. So one of the strangest things when I went to law school and I was in property law is this concept of adverse possession, where if uh, if you use someone else's land, if a person uses someone else's land in a certain way for 21 years, that's the time limit in Pennsylvania for 21 years without interruption, that land can become yours. Okay. It's usually, we're talking like two farms and there's like a thoroughfare. Okay. Or what will happen is you have two farms and only one of them's on a road. Okay. And then this farm, and then there's a path from this farm that runs through this other property. Well, well, that can become a right of way, you, but, but it could be adversely possessed as well. Or someone builds, let's say you have two pieces of land, okay, and here's the border, and someone builds like a, a shed right here, okay, like this person's property builds a shed on this person's property right here. And for 21 years, and that other person doesn't do anything about the shed, that little cut out of land can become that person's through adverse possession. I've heard the sovereigns argue this before. The Moors, I've read about it, okay? And that's part of like, you know how they take legal concepts and they twist them, okay? Adversely possessing a house is almost impossible. You'd have to squat in the house for 21 years uninterrupted and your adverse possession can be interrupted simply by those people putting a sign up saying you cannot live here or you are trespassing here, giving some sort of notice. So it's, it's rarely done. It's usually done in rural areas, but it is a concept the sovereigns use. They fake, they un misunderstand it. They think they can move in somewhere. And if they're there for a couple months, nobody bothers, bothers them. All of a sudden it's theirs. No, 21 years is the rule for adverse possession. There's no indigenous rights to take other people's property. I don't know what goes on on reservations, but off reservations, forget about it. Um, it's almost certainly not going to happen on reservations either, okay? Um, you are not indigenous. I am not indigenous. And none of those indigenous rights include moving into someone else's house and claiming that house as your own. Again, I found this video very interesting because it happened in Pittsburgh. This Moor had a great costume, but man, they're lucky that everybody there didn't get arrested and hauled off to jail. You just can't take people's property like that. So if you like my channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you for watching this video with Common Sense Academy. I'm lo really looking for subscriptions. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. It's a great free way to support this show. This show will always remain free. All of you who support me on Patreon, I love you. Thank you very much. Here's a shout out and I will shout out to you more. Jo join me Wednesdays, every Wednesday, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time for a live show with the Common Sense Academy. Thank you very much.